her in the face, her in the face. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I've got a massive Phil Unique haul for you. This is huge. I've got three boxes full of stuff here and this is going to take me a long time to get through so I'm just going to quickly go through them all and try not to ramble on too much. The first thing I got is this and it is from Nourish. It is their Summer Glow Kit and in this you get the Argan Skin Renew, the Skin Rescue and the Illuminating Face shimmer these are all gonna be little mini sizes of the products this was half price so it was only 13.75 instead of the normal 25 pound that they charge for their products i do like nourish products i think i've only had one product that i didn't like um that i think i may have mentioned in my empties video but i'm really looking forward to giving this a go next up is this from origins this is their Clear Improvement Active Coal Mask. Now these are tiny little sample packets of their masks that they do. Uh, so they come like that, little tiny round disc should be enough for your face. My laptop's going off for some reason. Shush. Uh, yeah, these are just little sample sizes of their face mask, which normally cost around £23, I think, for the original masks. These cost five. I think they do them in four different masks. I know there's the Jingxing one and the is it face quenching one? I think it's that as well. And there's another one that I can't remember. Uh, but I really wanted to give these a go, but I didn't know what they were going to do for my skin, so I'm going to give this one a go. I think this one is for unclogging pores and something else. We'll see. Next, I got this from Garnier. Take me out the frame. This is their Perfect Blur Eye, which is supposed to be for wrinkles, crow's feet and dark circles. I do get terrible dark circles right in the corner of my eyes, which I'm hoping that's going to help with. And of course, no one wants wrinkles when they're old. It's going to happen, but would like to prevent them while we can. I'm not too sure what this is going to do for me. And obviously, I'm not going to see any kind of signs that it's going to work very well, but... It's supposed to say immediately, immediately you look, immediately look younger. So we'll see if that works at all. That's the first box empty. This is from Bourgeois. It says Silk Edition uh, powders. I have this in porcelain. I absolutely love it. It is an amazing powder. It just doesn't ever cake on me whatsoever. But I went to go get a new one because mine's looking a little worse for wear, and I want a backup for it. Can't get my shade anywhere. But I did see this, and this is it in uh, the bronze, I think it's just called bronze. Ooh, bit of plastic. So this is their bronze shade. Now I wanted this because I'm trying to look for a really good bronzer. I wanted to get the Benefits Hula. Is it called Hula? Hula bronzer. Um, but it's £23 and that's a lot to spend on a bronzer. Uh, so I saw this one and I know how much I love the powder, the porcelain powder that I have originally and this should just be a nice addition. The colour doesn't look too orangey either, it looks it looks kind of it looks a good medium colour. I haven't tried it out yet because I want to photo, photo it for the blog but I'm hoping that will be really nice. I also love the mirror. absolutely love a twisting mirror. I love the fact you can just turn it like that and you've got a mirror on the go. That's why I love it as my powder. Then I picked up two products from the Yester 2 range. This is the Yester Tomato range. I haven't as yet given this a go yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've got the Clarifying Cleanser, which is this one. I don't know if you can see why I'm tilting. And the Daily Repair Treatment, which is in this one here. Um, I do like Yester 2 products. I do use the cleansing cloths in what's the green one? Cucumber and I have got the blueberry eye cream uh, which is supposed to be for wrinkles and things um, this one here is just supposed to I suppose help clarify my skin and make it more cleaner, more healthy, try and unclog my pores so that I won't get spots. I'm losing my voice! <coughs> oh I'm sorry there. This one is supposed to help clear up blemishes once you've got them so I'm hoping that maybe combined with this this might help prevent them and then this one will help me if I do get them, I don't know. Last up, I picked up this one because one, I think the packaging is cute on it. Are you going to focus? And that's going to focus or not? 
There we go. This is called the Emu Oil Well Company. I think it's an Australian company and it's got rosehip oil and emu oil. I'm sure it's emu. It's spelled E-M-U, which in my head is emu. I could be wrong. I don't know. This is supposed to help with scars and blemishes and all sorts of things. So, you know, if you get a cut or something, you can put it on your skin and it will help uh, heal it and try and get rid of the scar from it. So I'm hoping this is going to help with all the blemish scars that I've got across my face that are doing my head in at the moment. So that's that. Following from that, I did go and pi pur pur purchase, purchase, p -p 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 when you pick up a penguin, you pick up a purchase. She's gone mad. Uh, this is from uh, Palmer's, this is cocoa butter formula stuff. So you know the packaging. I didn't know they did stuff in rosehip oil. Uh, but this is, I don't know if it's rosehip oil or is this rosehip fragranced, I don't know. It does have rosehip in it, that's all I know. Uh, and it's for scars, stretch marks, dry and damaged skin and even skin tones and ageing skin. One of the other problems I do have is I have incredibly red cheeks and I would like a way to tone that down. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I'm willing to try anything to make it work. I do get dry skin as well because I do have eczema as well. I just have a list of complaints. So I'm hoping that's going to be a nice little rounder little thing. Oh, I'm going to have to swap boxes. Hold on. One box. Three box. Last box. So then I picked up this. It's a, just a loofah body one, you know, the little pads that you stick your hand in and do that with. Of course, no one does it like that. Next up, I picked up two little products from uh, Ulla Hendrickson. Hendrickson? Hend is it Hendrickson or Hendrickson? Hendrickson? I don't know. These, I actually think, are really good Christmas sets as well. This is the first one I picked up. And I got this because of the cleanser that is in it. I don't know if that's the full size one or not. Uh, it's the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. This is one of the cheapest products they've got on uh, Feel Unique from the Ulla Henriksen range. Uh, so it's only £7. And this set here with the cleansing cloths in the background as well, that cost £8. So I thought, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, you get more for your money. So this is the... What are the cleaning cloths? I think the cleaning cloths are the vitamin C, CoQ10 and blackcurrant oil. That's what these ones are. Um, and I imagine they're just like any other face wipe. So I'll give those a go and see what I think of them. And the cleanser is a foaming cleanser, but it looks quite oily. So I imagine if you use this without, I don't know, because well, you put it through a pump, so it's going to come out foamy, isn't it? And this is just uh, African red tea. Borgia, Borgia seed oil and citrus extract and it's supposed to remove impurities and makeup so you can use this on your makeup as well. Uh, smoothing texture and brightening and softens and nourishes so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Then this one I thought was a real bargain apparently according to the website this is supposed to be about £29 for this original set but they're actually selling it for £12 which is amazing. This little product here, the main product of this, when I looked it up, it was apparently £41 for the original size one. This, I don't think that was the original size one. I imagine the original size to be a bit bigger. Um, and that is the, I think it's just called Nurture Me. I think it's just called Nurture Me. Yeah, it's a soothing cream cushion silk with nourishing vitamins. Cushion your skincare. It's supposed to, uh, oh it's got it on the front again, the soothing cream helps cushion, calm, protect and hydrate the most dry sensitive skin and nourishing vitamins and essential oils will guide, guard, will guard from environmental damaging by strengthening the skin's natural defences. What more could you want from a cream really apart from that? And then obviously as what well, long with that you get the cleansing cloths in the same brand I suppose of the Nurture Me range. I don't know what the other brands call that. Hang on. Are they just all called Nurture Me or? Oh no these ones are brightening. So that's a brightening one and this is obviously nourishing. I imagine all the different colours have different things obviously. Don't be daft. Uh, so this is just cleansing cloths, removes makeups, even waterproof. One easy step. Uh, smooth cleaning 
basically what you get from a face mask. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one here. And of course then they'd be perfectly fine to try as well. Lastly, I got two lipsticks, both in very similar shades. The first one is from Rimmel and it is one of their lasting colour rushes. I love these. I know everyone goes on about the bourgeois ones. I've never tried a bourgeois one. Never tried a bourgeois one uh, because these were the first ones I tried and just fell in love with them so I kept buying these. This in the shade, the redder the better. It's just a red shade which is going to be perfect for winter and it's one of the only colours that I don't have in the collection. The last thing I got was from NYX which I believe is new to feel unique and this is one of their matte uh, lip creams and this is in Monte Carlo Monte Carlo these were selling out ridiculously quick they were 5 99 or 5 59 I can't remember uh, there were a couple of other shades I wanted there was Transylvania and Copenhagen I wanted but they had completely sold out uh, but I managed to get my hands on this one it is a really beautiful dark red color I don't think you can see on there it looks a bit brighter and I'm really looking forward to trying this out. So you may have thought that was enough stuff that I got, but as it turned out, when you spent £100 on Feel Unique, which I know is a lot of money, you got a free gift. And this is one hell of a free gift. This is a bag full of stuff that apparently is worth £100. The bag is from a brand called Victoria Green. It is a huge bag. I'll admit it's about the size of my head. And I've got quite a big head. And inside this... It is filled with lots of goodies and things and I can't wait to have a look and see what's inside it. And they've also given me a little book here with all the information on the stuff and what they've personally written about it so I'll try and read those out. So obviously first thing on the list is the bag which is, uh, it says keep your makeup and toiletries organised, doesn't have to be boring. This super functional but cute wash bag is a great, it's great for travelling and everyday use. I know that's quite cute really. So the first thing is this from Vichy, it's a thermal 3 in 1 cleanser toner and eye makeup remover. It's a full size one which is very generous of them and I will give this a go tonight when I take off my makeup and see what it is. Although I seem to have so many cleansers to pick from I don't know what I'm going to do. So the next thing on this list is from TIGI and it is the Bedhead Antioxidant uh, Shampoo and Conditioner for dry damaged hair that needs a moisture hit which may come in quite handy during the winter these are really reasonable sized bottles i think i don't know which way around they are which is the shampoo which one is the conditioner am i being an idiot oh there we go they do say that's the shampoo that's the conditioner they look very similar so i'm looking forward to giving these a go just in the winter they're going to come in quite handy and they're really reasonable sized bottles what is next on my list? Next is this, which I do not know how to say it. I want to say it's Urican? Urican? Ur I don't know. Uh, but it's this, it is a day cream. Uh, it says volumizing filler. Volume filler. filler. Uh, let this moisture do the hard work while you sleep. So now mine says it's a day cream, the one on here says it's a night cream. So I think I should have got the day cream for this but they've sent me the night cream. Ah. Oh well then I'll have to find out what this is supposed to be. Uh, it is a day cream by the looks of it then. Do we have any uh, information on the bottle? No? No, no information. I don't know then. Um, well that's that. <laughs> I can't give you any help on that one. Next one is from Renz and it is their Beauty Shot. I've got a little miniature size of this that I haven't used yet. It's so tiny and it, I know that Ren products are quite expensive and are really good for you. I just haven't quite got the nerve to use it yet. And it says to this, to turn back the clock in just one shot, this Wonder Serum works instantly to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I don't have any of those as yet. But let's see if this does anything for me. What's next? 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 Oh, I don't know. Where is it? So next is this, which is so tiny. It's from Benefit, and it is their Real Remover, which is their makeup remover. So tiny. I mean, that's going to be great if you're going on like a night out or something, or you're going away for the night. That'd be a really good thing to take just as a makeup remover. 
um, and it says finally a remover that actually takes off every scrape of makeup including mascara wave goodbye to those panda eyes um bear in mind that I've got quite a few cleansers now to use I don't know whether to just I don't know what to do with that one that's quite small and tiny but I've never tried any benefit products that'd be great this one I've heard of is quite a staple product where is it oh look how tiny that is look how cute that looks that I just want to stick on my shelf it looks like a nail varnish I'm not gonna lie that looks like a nail varnish uh I don't even know how to say is it nukes nukes it says this cult oil is the hardest working product around this multi-purpose gem can be used to moisturize the face body and hair leaving every inch of your uh, of every inch of you in tip top condition I, I don't know about this I really I mean I've seen it a lot of the time and I've heard things about it I'm just not very sure if I'm a, a glitter fan I know it's a very huge cult product but I will I'll give it a go and see what I think of it uh what's up next oh oh it's this one this is a tiny mini mascara and it's from Longcom and it is their Hypnos Volume Apoda I sh I love what is this a mascara not an eyeliner so I've got a hair in there yeah uh, anything prom oh, sorry, everything promises clump free lashes gets our vote the new formula gives the illusion of false lashes plus the intense black really does last all night I don't have much of a problem with mascaras but I do love a miniature of anything anything miniature I love so I'm going to look forward to using that oh what's next uh, next is a makeup brush from a brand called look good feel better and it's just a little eyeshadow brush I believe um it feels quite soft a bit dense I like that an eyeshadow brush it gives me more control I think uh wait, 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 wait. these soft brushes keep you looking good and you constantly happy oh and your conscience happy that's good to know Donations from these brushes goes towards helping the struggle with visible effects of cancer. Oh, that's nice. A brush brand that does good. I like the idea of that. So I don't know how the proceeds of this brush go towards helping people with cancer because I got it free. But I hope for Unique paid something for it. I'm not sure. Three more things. Three more things on the back here. So the next thing is from Balance Me and it is their super moisturising hand cream which is a very small tiny little thing. I've got a bit of paper in my hand for some reason uh, and obviously it's a hand cream so it's just going to moisturise my hands. This seriously rich moisturiser hand cream will banish those dry hands in winter and leave your palms protected. Well as it's winter and I'm running out of a few hand creams that will be really good to put in my bag I suppose and then I've got another hand cream just in case that was enough I love the packaging on this this is really really pretty you see like the flowers on that was it flowers leaves it's pretty whatever it is and this is from a brand called ritual I think it was ritual packaging was beautiful it's their Jinko's secret Jingsang and Jinko Bilaba Bilaba Bilaba. Uh caring hand balm. Uh, a handbag must have the sweet scent of ginseng and ginkgo. Balaba, balaba. I can't say it. Leaves help you feeling soft and nourished. Maybe that's what the leaves are on the packaging. Maybe that's what they are. I cannot say bilaba. Oh, last thing. This one I did see when I was buying this, and it was one of the main reasons I did want to get this. It is the. Emma Hardy Magnolia Cleansing Balm which I think is something everyone has ever raved about but it is expensive to buy so I've got a little sample size and a muslin cloth as well which I think is so cutely wrapped and packaged and it says a firm favourite of beauty editors and bloggers alike the much loved cleansing balm leaves your skin squeaky clean and velvety soft so my god I'm very excited to use this I've got so many cleansers right now I don't know which one to use first this one I bloody want to use right now it is, oh it does have a nice smell of magnolia. So this is the famous Emma Hardy cleansing balm by the sounds of it. 
that everybody and their dog uses. So that is everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Do let me know if there's any products here that you want to know more about or that you have tried and can give me uh, a few tips on or tell me if they're any good or not. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.